Welcome. I am here with the son. Do, uh, in fact, how do you like to be addressed? Um, it was Baby Slice at the be at the beginning of my career, but I think I'm going with Kimbo Slice Jr. now. It's time to take over. I like that. And what I also like is your chain. Can you show us your chain, please? Because it's an unk, man. It's an unk. I don't know if you guys know what this means, but this is light. It's a symbol of life, and um, it's like you're giving respect to women. You know, if you turn it upside down, it symbolizes a uh, a baby coming out the womb. You know your shit, okay? You know your stuff. I respect that. But yeah, so that's why I wear it, man. It's, I give all the, the the power and all the respect to women. And if it wasn't for women, we wouldn't be here. So that's why I wear this. Already up the ladder. Already up the ladder. Positive thoughts. I love the chain. I also love the teeth. Thank you. I wanted to get gold teeth when I was younger. And my mom said to me, if you get them teeth, because my mom's Jamaican, yeah. she says, you, you're going to have to come out of this house. You ain't staying in here. So you're lucky that you were able to get, how many have you got? Uh, a 10 on 10. But I'm getting ready to get rid of them. I, I think I like my smile better and my teeth look good. So uh, it, it's a look. So I don't know. I don't know. Maybe I'm going to go diamonds now. I was thinking about diamonds. We like it. So we are here with Junior. AT has just had his fight. Yeah. I want you to talk to me as his coach, as his mentor. Talk us through the fight and how it went from your eyes. Um, to me, I think I think Ant did really good. You know, he came a long way from training. Before he didn't take it serious, and now he's taking it serious. He just fought a 12 and 0 guy, a, a real boxer, and he didn't get hurt. Those two knockdowns was BS, and you know he did great. I did say that I thought he would have got taken out earlier, but he didn't. When you say that the knockdowns were BS, talk to me about that. So it, he wasn't hurt when he got knocked down. The first knockdown, he was already leaning, and it was like like a bow and then you know the ref's gonna do what the refs do and I, I gotta always respect what the ref do but sometimes you know it's a bad call and I think those two knockdowns were bad calls. So we talk about his style and him coming into your gym to be trained by you somebody you know I watched the doc I watched the podcast that he did with Vidal Riley and Leon Wills he's had a bit of a background a bit of a past and you can see that he's he's full of energy right, right. what is he like to train? Um, he, he, he's a, it's like, so men and are the complete opposite, honestly. He's very loud and talk a lot. I'm quiet. I'm very chill. So when we combine, it's like a great combination because I'm able to like Ant chill out a little bit, calm down a little bit. And then when I fight, I like Ant to be the hype man. So it's perfect. I don't have to say a thing and Ant's going to do all the talking for me. So it's a great teammate. Sounds like a match made in heaven. When you talk about going back to the drawing board, because obviously this is not the end. Right. We have losses in fights. This is boxing, right. crossover boxing, whatever it is. Right. What are you going to work on with him when you go back in the gym? Um, I think he should He should just keep doing what he's doing, honestly. He just keep doing what he's doing, and he, he's looking really good, and um, he's going to start winning. I think we should be on the next card together in April. And where is that card? Um, it's in the States. I'm not sure what date yet. Yeah. But just know I'm I just know I'm coming to take the Misfits belt. So whoever has the belt at 154, they they holding on to it for me, they're keeping it warm, but I'm coming to snatch it right from underneath them. Cause you haven't fought on the Misfits card yet, have you? No, not yet, but I, that's kind of part of the reason why I'm here to with Mams. He brought me out to check out the event. And the 155 division, I'm gonna run through everyone. And how do you find the organization to this? Because obviously you fought in America. Being in the UK, how are you finding the experience here? So I fought here two years, three years ago, and it was a sold out crowd. I finished them in the first round. It was Bellator and the crowd loved me out here. So when I walked out, I had a bigger, bigger uh, screaming than the whole card. And I was like the first fight on the main card and everybody went crazy when I fought. So it's been a minute and I think so they kind of forgot. So it's time to, to wake them up again so they can know like Slice is here again. We like that. Wake them up again. We have got a card that's coming up in February. Do you think Anthony will get back on that? Um, I think he should get on that card, you know? Just keep him fighting. He's great entertainment. He's going to sell the fight. He's going to sell the show. Love him or hate him, you're going to watch. And who would you say that you would go after when you're talking about you want to take the belt? Whoever's got it, yeah. But who have you got your eyes on? We've always got our eyes on someone. Who's the 150? Who's the champ at, at 154? No, he's 170, I think. He's fighting at 75. And who? Oh, I, I'm not sure who's the who has the belt, but whoever has that belt, I, I think it's... Maybe, King Kenny. Or maybe Slim, maybe? I'm not sure. If it's slim, then that's who I got to come out there. Well, he's fighting tonight. So if he loses the belt, then that's I want that guy. If he wins, I want that guy. If you want to give me a warm-up fight to see what I got, I'm going to run through whoever it is. But I'm going to get that belt at 154, and that's just what it is, you know? 
Well, I suggest that you go by ringside, and when he does fight, when he's talking, sure. you can jump in and they say... Just bring me in there. They should just bring me in there and face off with whoever the champ is, honestly. We love that. Listen, it's been an absolute pleasure to meet you. Thank you. Thank you. An absolute pleasure to speak to you and see yeah, appreciate it. the gold, nice the team. I love it. The Ankh, man. Ankh is life, man. Ankh is life. Hi, and thank you for watching October Red Boxing. Like, subscribe, and tap the bell for notifications. You can also find us on Instagram at October Red Boxing and on Twitter, October Red UK. And remember, at October Red, we stay ready.